Chapter 6 of On the Duties of the Clergy Book the First This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. On the Duties of the Clergy by St. Ambrose Book the First Chapter 6 In this matter, we must imitate David's silence and humility, so as not even to seem deserving of harm. What need is there to be troubled when we hear abuse? Why do we not imitate him who says, I was dumb and humbled myself, and kept silence even from good words? Or did David only say this, and not act up to it? No, he also acted up to it. For when she may, the son of Jira reviled him, David was silent and although he was surrounded with armed men, he did not return the abuse, nor sought revenge. Nay, even when the son of Zeruiah spoke to him, because he wished to take vengeance on him, David did not permit it. He went on as though dumb and humbled. He went on in silence. Nor was he disturbed, although called a bloody man, for he was conscious of his own gentleness. He therefore was not disturbed by insults, for he had full knowledge of his own good works. He then, who is quickly roused by wrong, makes himself seem deserving of insult, even whilst he wishes to be shown not to deserve it. He who despises wrongs is better off than he who grieves over them, for he who despises them looks down on them as though he feels them not, but he who grieves over them is tormented just as though he actually felt them. End of chapter 6, book the first.